Um, I have some waxes here. These are melting in my wax heater. This is uh, just a green inlay wax. I have a sticky wax here and I have a utility wax here. Um, this is inlay wax as well or sculpturing wax and this is margin wax. And to get started I'm just going to go ahead and uh, demonstrate with my sculpture wax. A technique that, uh, that I use. It's, uh, it's pretty much just a freehand technique. I just take the wax and uh, run it under the Bunsen burner flame back into the um, wax and then um, onto the die. And I try to develop a, a rhythm and I try to layer the wax evenly, uh, you know, creating a uniform thickness coping. And so that's what I'm going to try to achieve here today and demonstrate. And I just rotate the die in my left hand. Try to keep the heat even. So I apply this wax and that will make it easier for me. And I'm keeping the wax above the margin for right now. If I get some that go that get, does go past the margin, it's okay. But uh, I'm not trying to purposely wax below the margin at this time. And that is the coping. At this point, that's, um, that's where I'm going to stop at right now. Okay, at this point now, I can put the die back into the model and check to see if I need to uh, build up and close any spaces that we may have. So I can close the space by building up the cuss tips. And also the interproximal areas, if there's uh, a lot of space there. We don't want any more than two millimeters um, because we want to support our porcelain. Any more than two millimeters is going to be too much porcelain and we could, uh, could possibly have breaking or fracturing of the crown if we don't have enough support. Okay, now I'll take this die back out. And just fill in where I've added the uh, cuss tips. Smooth that out some.
Okay, now if we want to add a legal band, we can do that at this point. And we can put it back on the model to check and see how the band and the contacts look. Uh, we don't want the band to come too far out if we have a lingual band. We don't want that to show in the mouth. And so uh, now I'll use my spatula to uh, carve with. I'm just going to define the band, the uh, finish line for the band.